The NRA has come out against President Trump's endorsement earlier today to raise the minimum purchase age for assault rifles from 18 to 21. 10 News reporter Michael Chen with a close look at a debate Congress could take up. 19-year-old Krista Farmer has been cleaning and taking care of guns since she was 11. Farmer purchased an AR-15 when she was 18 for about $700. Farmer uses it for shooting competitions, and California laws restrict the rifle's load speed and number of rounds in a magazine. It's a gun Farmer is comfortable with. She says the purchase age should stay at 18. At the age of 18, I knew how to properly disassemble and assemble proper safety rules. Anti-gun violence advocates want such rifles banned nationwide, but say raising the purchase age is a good step. The maturity range between 18 and 21, uh, there, there's a lot of room for growth in those, in those key uh, years. Anything that can allow for that maturation process before we allow someone to buy a gun is a good idea. Farmer counters with a different maturity argument. She says she was mature enough to enlist in the Army Reserve several years ago. If we're old enough to enlist and carry these firearms with us, I believe we are mature enough and responsible enough to own these in our personal life as well. Others say the two situations are different when it comes to owning AR-15s. As far as young service members, you are subject to extreme discipline and oversight. When they're off duty, a different story different story and they should be subject to civilian rules at that point. Reasoning Farmer does not agree with. It's extensive. The, the training that the military gives you. Because of the quality of the military's gun training, this debate could ratchet up if the president continues to push to raise the purchase age. Michael Chen, 10 News. As of last year, new sales of AR-15s have been banned in our state. Owners can still keep their old ones, but they must register them by June.